Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. So a lot of people have been asking when I would do a detailing video of my truck. Uh, the reason it's taking so long is I've been waiting on Adam's polishes to arrive and it's finally here. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. Um, I actually ordered a little bit more a few days ago. So I'll probably do a follow up video trying out some other products with them. But um, I'm going to show you what they sent me. They were nice enough to send me all this stuff. And uh, all right, so they sent me this. The double soft polishing towel. There's my phone. Get your nozzles here, spray nozzles. Borderless gray plush towel. Red wash mitt. A borderless gray plush towel. I think that's the second one. Yeah. Ceramic boost. So what's cool about Adams is all their stuff smells like fruit, and that's kind of been an issue with a lot of products. It just doesn't smell good. It smells horrible when you apply it and stuff like that. So it's cool that all their stuff smells good, you know. So um, I think this smells like bananas. The tire shine it smells like bananas. Um, the detail spray. I actually have quite a bit of this stuff. Um, I think it smells strawberries. I think it is. But I have a lot over sitting on my my cart over there. But yeah, they were nice enough to send me all this stuff, and I'm definitely gonna try it all out. I've already tried out tire shine, the car shampoo. And the detail spray I've already had it all but uh, I'm curious to see how this works and I'm curious to see how the ceramic boost works I like to do first is a lot of people a lot of people prefer the two bucket method which oh god here we go. enough talking I want to go ahead and get started on the truck a little bit of tire shine left um, wheel cleaner now I will say this stuff, this stuff does not smell good, <laughs> but it's really strong. So applicator for the tire. The reason I'm putting it all in the bucket is I'm not going to leave the garage door open. I don't feel like an overspray on the car or in the garage. So um, I'm probably going to move the truck out a little further. So these brushes are good, especially on a big, tall truck that you can't reach places. This stuff's really good. Glass cleaner. Um, on tinted windows, you want to make sure there's no ammonia in it because it, it'll really it'll discolor your tint. So make sure you get some stuff that's ammonia free. This stuff's also amazing. A lot of people with four wheelers and uh, you know dirt bikes, four wheelers, side by sides, motorcycles. This stuff like brings plastic, like black plastic. Well, it don't have to be black either. It can be anything. Spray the truck down, see if I can knock some extra dirt off. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the single bucket on this one. So the whole truck is clean on the outside as far as paint goes, mirrors, windows. Uh, I still gotta get the top, but right now I'm just gonna work on going wheel wells, wheels, tires, uh, suspension components, shock hoops, shocks, control arms, all that stuff, the front cross member, 
and uh, pretty much the small detail stuff. And uh, then I'm gonna go back over it with probably a microfiber, a clean one, and uh, make sure I didn't miss a spot. And uh, But I've already dumped this bucket a few times now, so this is pretty clean water now. But um, pretty much it's gonna go in these wheel wells, get to the stuff that a brush won't get. And uh, yeah, then I'll respray it off. You can see all these little surface scratches. They'll all, they should all come out though. Yeah, nothing's deep, sorry. ADD's kicking in. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on the front wheel well. Just gonna go ahead. Just get the spots that a brush ain't gonna be able to get to. All right guys, so I use the stuff called uh, Salt Away, as you can see right here. You can buy the kit that comes with a little sprayer right here. You just put, fill this up. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm just gonna spray the whole truck down. Now I do live in Florida, which means there's no salt on the roads, but there's salt in the air. It doesn't, it's not as bad as obviously physical salt on the road, but uh, I like to spray the whole truck underneath down with this stuff. It eats away the salt. Um, a lot of people use it in their engines down here for the salt water. Um, and so, for a lot of you guys that live in the north, this probably wouldn't be a bad option for you guys. You know, after you, you know, maybe you wash your vehicle every time you use it. Uh, it probably wouldn't hurt to spray down the frame and all the components, you know, suspension components, all that stuff with this. I mean, it's good stuff. It's pretty expensive, but it's worth it. Alright guys, so I got that salt away all on the truck. I'll let it sit for a little bit so it eats that salt. Um, right now I just I'm washing the wheels right now, all the most of most of the dirt off, and then I'm gonna go back over it with this wheel cleaner. But I'm gonna rinse this off first, and then I'm gonna spray that wheel cleaner, let it sit, and then I'll rinse that back off. Now I'm gonna use this. It's the Adams wheel cleaner. It's pretty strong stuff, so try to just get it on your wheels. Just spray it pretty much. Spray it pretty much everywhere on your wheels. Rotors, you know, whatever. Pretty much anywhere in the wheel area. As it's sitting on there, you kind of want to just move it around with the. Uh, you know, any kind of a brush or a mitt or whatever. Make sure it's, I guess it says you want to agitate it. And so I'm just gonna kind of work around like this. You don't want to let this stuff dry on the wheel. So once you're done agitating it and kind of moving it around, just you want to rinse it off, make sure everything's off. <laughs> So I'm gonna repeat the process with the, all the rest of the wheels. Uh, I don't feel like I need to <laughs> show the process again, just to drag the video on. But um, just repeat the process: rinse off the front tires or rinse off the wheels, um, scrub them down with a, a mitt, get all like the the bulk of the dirt off and all that, and then rinse that off. Then use the Adams wheel cleaner right here. Spray a lot on there. Let it sit for a little bit and then kind of move it around, make sure it's getting everywhere. Um, and then you want to rinse that off, make sure there's no left behind. You don't want it to dry. Stuff. I have to go on and get the other side also. All right, you don't want to get too close. Um, <laughs> that last off-roading trip really chipped this bumper up. Um, new bumper is about to be ordered, off-road bumper. It's like one of the only things the truck hasn't gotten yet on the outside as far as looks go. I want to get one that kind of matches the front. I don't know if I'll go road armor, iron bull. We will see. I'm not too positive yet.
Now what I'm gonna do is just spray this. You, you can use an applicator also if you don't want it super shiny. I'm probably just gonna spray it and see how it looks. And if it's too shiny, uh, I'll, I'll definitely use the applicator. But uh, for right now, I'm just gonna spray. Alrighty, so I'm gonna let this do its thing. And then I'm gonna come back and re-wipe it back down. That might be too much. And yeah, the overspray, I'll come back with a microfiber, wipe it down. These scuffs are not gonna come out right now with, um, with just that compound. It's gonna have to be another video, which will be fine because it's gonna be a long day of doing it. So I don't have the time to do it tonight. And this is more of just a detailing video anyways. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some sandpaper and I'll have to go find some water somewhere for wet sanding. I don't know where I'll find water, but um, I'm gonna do another video just straight doing a paint correction on the truck. Interior still needs to be done, which is horrible. I don't know if you guys even wanna see that on a video. I know a lot of you guys are more interested on the outside of the truck, but um, being that the truck was so dirty, you know, this took most of the day to do. I don't know if you guys can tell from the video, the truck looks amazing right now. But yeah guys, the next video with the truck will be a full paint correction. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, I'll probably end up doing that next week because I gotta, still got to get sandpaper and all that stuff. So uh, definitely be on the lookout. Alright guys, so that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. I hope it was somewhat helpful for a lot of you guys. This was kind of a heavily requested video. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys will probably already see what wheels those are. I'm not going to show you in this video. Wait for the next one. Um, tomorrow I will be mounting these on the tires and they will be on the car in the next video after this. So be on the lookout for that. But uh, yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And uh, we will see you next time.